Hi everyone, it's me, your girl, Cheska, back at it again with another science presentation for all of you. So this is my new science presentation. As you can see here, we have a kitchen model of an animal cell. Kitchen, why kitchen? It's because these are the only ingredients found in my kitchen and I have no clue. So let's get started. So in order for the younger ones to thoroughly understand what I'm saying, we will do a comparison with the model of an animal cell to a community. So first, let's start with the cell membrane. So this is a cell membrane, as you can see here. I did not bother adding more ingredients because it's already here. So the cell membrane is in charge of regulating what comes in and out. It's basically like the castle walls, hmm, the city gates, you know? Which one? City gates. Which one? The cell membrane. The cell membrane. They're in the charge of regulating. Okay. Now, let's go to the town hall, as you can see. This is the town hall or the city hall, whichever you want to call it. And the, t the city hall or the nucleus is in charge of regulating the cell's activities. And you can find the DNA and genetic code in the nucleus. This is it, the nucleus. Mm -hmm. Now in the nucleus, we have the nucleus. <laughs> so the nucleus is the mayor who makes all of the rules needed in order for the community to survive. The nucleus is also in charge of synthesis or making ribosomes. Now, should we head out? Okay. As we go out, we have... Oh, what's this white thing? As you can see, it's found everywhere. It's spread everywhere. This white thing is cytoplasm. It's in charge of holding everyone in store. Let's just say these are the kagawan, you know? They're in charge of keeping everything Barangay in tano. shape. Barangay tano, you know? They're in charge of keeping everything in shape. Literally and figuratively. So next... We have our ribosomes. So ribosomes are workers from the town hall who run around everywhere. Also a different version of Tagawan. Next, we have our mitochondria. I only have two mitochondria because I ran out of red gummies. I am so sorry for that. There's supposed to be three, but let's pretend there's another one. So as you can see, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell or the power plant of the entire community. It's in charge of cellular respiration. So let's just say that the mitochondria is the power plant that's in charge of our electricity and all our daily needs. Next, next, next. Here we have the endoplasmic reticulum. Here we have the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum or ER. Wait. Why is it rough? It's rough when ribosomes, who run around freely, also stick to the endoplasmic reticulum. Now, endoplasmic reticulum are interconnectional channels that are found beside the nucleus. So it's a highway. It's a highway, kumbaga. It's a highway, guys. So this is also in charge of storage and transportation throughout the cell. Next, we have our Golgi bodies or Golgi apparatus which is in charge of synthesis also, packaging, and throwing out the garbage. So these are our garbage men. The Golgi apparatus over here. These are our garbage men. Mm -hmm. And this is little babies. But wait, if there's a garbage man, then shouldn't there be a cleanup crew also? It's right here, guys. So this is a lysosome, or commonly known as the suicide sack. It contains digestive enzymes that break down all the waste of the cell. But be careful because if this one breaks, the entire cell dies. Mm -hmm. Be careful, kids. Next, we have our centrioles. They're supposed to be cylinder shaped, but let's pretend it's cylinder shaped. So centrioles are in charge of organizing reproduction for animal cells. Now, if we were to go to a plant cell and not an animal cell, this is supposed to be a vacuole. But since it's an animal cell, it's a centriole. Now we are down to our last part. This is our microtubes. These are our microtubes. And they are in charge for shaping the cell. Not just the cell, but the entire body of the animal. So these are the houses. They're like the houses of the community. What? Yeah, so let's do What's a recap. That? This one? Mm -hmm. These ones are microtubes. Microtubes. Should Which is responsible for it? The structure of the cell and the entire animal body. Okay. So let's do a recap, shall we? So okay. we have the nucleus, the city hall, the nucleus, the mayor, 
the Golgi bodies, the garbage men, uh, the lysosome, the cleanup crew, the endoplasmic reticulum, smooth and rough. These are the highways and roads. Next, we have our ribosomes, the workers from the town hall, and we have our microtubes, the skeletal frame of the entire cell, or the foundations of the houses. Now we have the cytoplasms, the kagawad or barangay tanods, figuratively, the mitochondria, the power plant of the entire community or cell. Hmm, what else are we missing? Oh, the centrioles, which help in reorganizing reproductional systems. Let's just say this is a hospital for newborn babies. Now, that's all. I hope you learned something, guys. Shade it if you do. I spent one hour on this. Anyway, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything. So, can you try? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have to take a picture.